everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to be putting the deck and the hull together. So we're going to get it all lined up and get the uh, outer edge epoxy and sort of hold things in place. First thing I want to do is just get it to line up. And the puzzle joint seams in the deck and the hull line up with each other. So all I need to do is make sure these line up on both sides and when they line up I know the whole thing's in proper alignment. So I'm holding the deck and hull together with fiberglass reinforced packing tape. It's very strong and it does not stretch. And then I mask the edge just with simple masking tape. And then I goop in some peanut butter. There are better ways to do this, I know. What the tape is for. Get it all over the boat. What do I do? Get it all over the boat anyway. Or it's fighting me way too much. So I'm just doing it piecewise and getting it to just agree with me a little bit at a time. And I'll just keep going piece by piece until finally the whole thing is right. I don't want to just force it and throw it all off. I wish it all went this fast. All you gotta do is go on the internet and order epoxy syringes. And it'll be much better than what you see me doing right now, being an idiot. But... What can you do? Can't fix stupid. I'm going to take the tape off before the epoxy completely sets, just to avoid any possible sticking. I don't want to deal with it. Hey, how come nobody ever told me I look exactly like Popeye and Bluto at the same time? Thank you. 
Now I can take my bungee off of my saw blades that I used to hold the alignment. Kind of just cheating. And I don't know if you can see this, but this area is still fighting me. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And it's not the fault of the design or the fault of the CNC shop or anything like that. I think they're fighting me because the deck and the hull were sitting for a lot longer than I care to uh, admit without anything on it. It was just exposed wood. So I think they kind of settled into just being their own shape. And now, you know, it's not that bad, but it's going to take a little coaxing to get them to come together. So I think I'll put a strap around the deck and then I'll do some tape to get this last part together. Try this. Cut once, never measure. pushing this board in and that's bulging out that edge to help it line up the 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 hull is a little bit more narrow than the deck and so putting that board in there and then I'm going to cinch down the strap and hopefully it brings it together nicely that's still kind of outside so we'll see it's a little better than it was check this side out Let's go ahead and ratchet it down a little bit and see what happens. And that too. Maybe I'll put another strap on the back here. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this. Seems to be a. I don't know if you can see that. I think there's a little bit of glue messing me up. I'm gonna open this up and see if I can file that down. I think this will come together a little better. Let's see.
Maybe two more stripes. be worse. as good as we're gonna get it so we'll mask it and then peel off some of this other tape and we'll go ahead and put on some more peanut butter I'll get these spots too that I missed fighting me. So just trying to squeeze it together evenly. It's kind of ignorant. No sweat. All you need to do a boat like this is a nice big clamp, a piece of stick, tape, a steak knife, a strap, a bungee cord, and two jigsaw blades. What's the problem? Super easy. important to keep your tools nice and sharp as you're going along so you're going to want to resharpen your tools as you're doing this for instance I've got this plastic spoon that I've been using to mix and right now it's a little gunked up with peanut butter so we're gonna go ahead and sharpen it up clean off that gunk perfect what the heck I've got epoxy permanently onto my garage floor I wonder how that happened that's so weird. No, I didn't forget to do the bulkheads. I'm gonna try something different this time. Usually I put them in before connecting the deck in the hull, but this time I'm gonna try a different trick. I'm gonna try running that fiberglass tape from 
halfway up, so it's going to be halfway that way, halfway that way, and it's going to meet here behind the uh, hip braces. So I'll be able to run the entire length all the way in, and then all the way back in one nice piece of tape. And hopefully that's going to make it a a better you know a better looking glass job i'm trying to pay attention to the glass on this one it may not look like it but this is the best one i've ever done so try not to screw it up all right i think i'm in the home stretch for connecting the deck and the hull i think all of the fighting is done and now i'm just gonna reinforce with some tape where it's already glued and I'm going to take off the supports and go for the last bit of glue to uh, finish up the edge. That's the last of the deck and hull seam. And by tomorrow morning, this thing will officially be one piece. Hoorah. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this part of the video. Next time we're going to work on putting the fillet and the glass inside the seam. And uh, I'd also like to mention that if you ever work with dangerous chemicals like varnish or paint thinner, be sure to use personal protective equipment and also do it in a well-ventilated area. Otherwise, it might affect your video editing. Uh, Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.